Hey guys, Sam here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another makeup trend. This time I will be trying Japanese makeup trends on my face and seeing how that goes. But also, I got a little treat from YesStyle and sent me a whole bunch of free stuff to do a Japanese makeup challenge. So before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you haven't so already. Okay, let's get into the video. So if you guys don't know already, YesStyle is um, an Asian online store that sells multiple different brands from all over Asia like Korea, Japan and stuff like that. And this time they sent me a whole bunch of awesome makeup, Japanese makeup to be precise, to try out. So I'm going to be trying a whole bunch of different Japanese trends and using this makeup and seeing how well it's going to go. So let's get into it. Since I have a cute little bead necklace on that I also got from YesStyle, I am deciding to put in a cute little bead hairband to get my hair up. So we are going to start off with priming my face. So I don't actually use a primer, I use the Belief Aqua Balm. Great moisturizer, like it's absolutely amazing. I have been using this for years. It is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to also prime base my eyes. So one thing I noticed is that Japanese makeup is also super super natural like Korean. They like the sh super shimmery looks. So I will start off with this awesome palette that I got. So this palette is from Can Make Perfect Stylist Eyes and I got this in the style of gâteau framboise, which means raspberry cake in English. So this one, if I'm going to show over here, those are what the little swatch, I did mini swatches beforehand, and it comes with a cute little smudgy brush. I don't really think I'll be using this, so I'll be taking my brushes to be doing my makeup look. So I noticed that in comparison to Korean eye look, Japanese do what the Westerners do and start off with light colors here and slowly fade the color outwards. I'm going to be doing a pinky look because it seems that Japanese makeup loves to use either like pink peaches or like light browns because they want a more natural look just like the, like Korean makeup does. So I'm going to be taking the color up here as the base, slightly going in to my eye right here, going right into it, just like this. So this is a very, very pale pink. Going all over, all over. There we go. And I realize that I don't have a mirror. I'm gonna go get a mirror. I will be right back. So I have this part on. Oh, I got some underneath <laughs> my eye. Now I'm gonna slowly go in with a Z pink color. It's like a super bright pink, as you guys can tell. So I'm just gonna casually like Slightly just add that in to the outside. So it's like very simple blending. Not trying to make it too, too vibrant. Slightly blending in the middle, bringing it outwards. This is a pretty cute pink. It does blend pretty well, which is really cool. I like that, which is really nice, you know? Slightly bringing a little bit outwards, a little bit further outwards, under, slightly under my eye. Like this. So blending a little bit more in the middle. Perfect. So as you guys can see on camera, it is not super, super noticeable, but there's like a slight little bit of color to it. Since I did that, I am now going to do the other side. Okay guys, so now this is what my eyes look like. I literally just have two colors on right now. So they like doing their super, super simple. You know what? This totally works for me. As you can tell, like if you were seeing this from afar and stuff like that, you probably seen it's very, very natural, which is okay with me. Now what I'm going to do is they like for their eyeliner, they like doing what the, what Korean makeup does and they like doing that like smudge proof eyeliner. So I have my little handy dandy um, color pop gel liner. They didn't give me, uh, YesStyle didn't send me an eyeliner, which is totally fine because I don't want to be ruining a nice eyeliner from YesStyle if they sent me one. So I'll be using my nice color pop one to do a simple, simple like wing that I'm going to be dragging out. 
So this is always super, super scary for me. So having like a, like a gel crayon, like, like pen liner is super a lot easier to like use to use for like Asian styles because of how it spreads so easily like I can literally just take my finger I'm gonna literally drag it like I don't know how well you can see that on camera but I can see it pretty well over here so like it's very very a very subtle I look which I think is totally good having a nice natural look that could work for every day adding different colors to then change it up a bit to make it more like festive totally works I suck at eyeliner so much holy smokes <laughs> dragging right to the inner corner of my eye And there we go. So here we go. We have my my little wing that I literally just dragged out. So it's noticeable but not noticeable, which is really awesome. So now time to do this side. Okay, I think I did it on this side. I definitely know that this side is a lot better than this side. But we're just we're just gonna leave it at that for now. We're just gonna leave it at this for now. Three hours later. Okay. So this is now both my eyes with the eyeshadow and um, eyeliner on. I think it looks pretty good. Off camera, I did fix it a slight bit, a slight bit, but that's okay. So now I'm just gonna be going in with my... So now I'll be going in with my mascara. So yeah, as I said, I don't have any falsies, so I just stick to using regular mascara and a... Uh, curl eyelash curler for now until I do get a pair of falsies but for now I think this is okay especially going for the natural look this is this works even better so just adding a little oomph to my eyelashes so that's one eye I'm gonna do the other side Okay, so here we go. So this is the final eye look. So, a well, very light color eyeshadow on the inside, nice light pink on the outside, slowly going around the edge of the eye, a little bit of a smudgy faded um, eyeliner, and some mascara. So now, on to the next part. Maze eyebrows. Ooh la la. For my eyebrows, I have the eye... Sihan Heavy Rotation Coloring Eyebrow Stick from Yes Style, and this is in the color I think darkest brown. So I've never used one of these before, so this is going to be interesting. Focus, focus. There we go. So I guess I've asked I asked my friend Mackenzie what to do with this. You just brush it on your eyebrows. So as I said before, I don't really know how to do eyebrows. But I do know that like Japanese and like Korean Asian do usually have thicker eyebrows. I think I kind of have thicker eyebrows. So I'm just going to kind of go in and put this on. Okay. Okay, so this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Like now that I'm thinking about it, like I was so worried about the color not like working. But like it works and it's awesome. I do think it might be slightly a little bit lighter than my... Nah, not my natural hair but like you know what it's working it is okay coming in with the next eye so the funny thing is I haven't done my eyebrows in like literally over like two years because I have bangs so my eyebrows are very differently shaped but it is okay because my bangs cover them anyways so I'm trying my best here to make my eyebrows look kind of good, the best way possible. Okay, here we go. So I got myself some thick ass eyebrows, hell yeah. It feels kind of weird because it's like low-key still a little bit wet. Like I'm not used to doing my eyebrows, so this feels so weird. It's like putting mascara on my eyebrows. <laughs> but yeah so I got eyebrows I got my eyes now it is time for 
is the face. Whoop. So, just like beforehand, I will be going in with my Miracle Finish from the Face Shop uh, compact case. Boop, boop. And I'm going to be patting that stuff all over. The only good thing right now is my skin has actually been like fabulous, which is great. Like usually near like that time of the month, if you know what I mean, I usually get like a good amount of pimples. But this time I have seen like absolutely like barely any, like maybe one or two at the most. And I was like, what the heck? The funny part is I'm like stressing the most right now because of starting my summer school and having like 12 hours a week of school. And that's only for two classes. <laughs> So yeah, so I am putting this all over, under, on the side, and everything. Boom, face all done. One thing that I read is that, very ironically, that Japanese people with makeup and stuff don't like doing contour. So they only use blush, and that is it, which I find crazy and so interesting because I don't really know how to contour. I only recently learned how to contour, but I know like the basics of basics contouring. So for my blush, I will be using this uh, Lip and Cheek Gel by Can Made. It's so pretty, it's so small. Ay. And this is what it looks like on the inside. The color that I got is Dark Plum Sugar. So I think they only had three different colors on Yesel at this time and I like this one the most. So for this, I'm just gonna be literally going in right under my cheek and slightly above like what I usually do. So, whoa, it's like a very like creamy consistency and it's really like smooth, Ooh. So I'm just gonna slightly pat that in, making me look like I have a slight little blush to me. Slightly going up to the top. Making it look like I'm going to be trying to confess to my senpai in school with a cute little blush tint on my face. Man, I'd be watching too many animes, school animes. Pat, 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 right on the cheeks. Slowly going upwards. The consistency is really smooth and I'm like, wow, this amazes me, like how smooth it is and like creamy it is of like, like a blush and everything. Like this is crazy. So here it is. So I got my little, little, little cheeks, my blush on looking really cute, very light, very like slightly noticeable if you're close enough to see it. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see it on camera. In person, it's very, very subtle, which is really nice, which is, which is really good. And oh, it low key has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Ooh la la, like a little highlight, ooh. Finally, I will be doing the lips. So it says that they also like, wow, what to expect, natural looking lips. So using like pinks, very subtle nudes and stuff like that. So here, this is really funny. I actually had this in my, on my wish list on YesStyle. This is the, <laughs> this is the DHC lip cream. So I literally think it is just a regular lip balm and like, it looks like, like any regular lip balm. So this is like, Hello? Focus. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Looks like a regular lip balm and stuff like that. Has no smell to it. So I guess what I'll do is I'll use this and I'll use another one of my lipsticks to add like slight color to my lips. It's a very thick consistency. Not too bad. So what I'm going to be going in with, I actually got this from Yestel also. I'm going to thank Artie for this for getting this for my birthday. Getting the ink Ari stick at uh, color number four in I think it's like coral or something. So what the color looks like. So I'll only be putting like a slight little bit on my lips to give me a little bit more color. But to still make it look natural. On the edges. There you go. You can tell it's not my natural color, but 
it still looks super natural. So this is my final look. I have my eyebrows, my eye makeup, my lips, my blush, and that is it. Japanese makeup is super, super simple and I absolutely love it. So right now I'm going to fix up my hair, make me look a little bit more not like this, and let's see how the final look looks. So this is the final look. So I think it looks really cute. It's super, super natural. Like up close, it doesn't look as natural with like the lighter color in like the inside with the shimmer and stuff. But like the outside, like pink par with like the natural like blush hue and like the natural lips. This is such a simple, easygoing makeup style. And, and like I will definitely be doing this. Like it's just so simple and easy and like I am still amazed at how well this palette blended each other like these two like the base and the like pink how they blended so well like it's crazy like i'm so surprised like if anything i'm definitely probably going to be buying more of these little um these little palettes because like if you're going on the go natural more party like these are definitely the ones you should be getting and putting it in your like purse or bag just on the go they're literally perfect for little like touch-ups and everything like, I would totally do this makeup style again. Super easy, super simple, natural. Like, from what I feel like, it didn't take me too much time to begin with. If I wasn't, like, explaining what I was doing or talking about whatever, I, pr I could probably be doing this under 15 minutes. So if you're late or something or have, like, a quick business meeting or interview or, like, a cute friend hangout and you're running late, easiest makeup to do, I swear. Like, super, super simple. I hope you guys had an awesome time watching this video. I hope you had fun seeing me try out some new Japanese makeup. And thanks again, YesStyle, for sending me these awesome Japanese products. I will definitely be using them on a daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't so already. Okay, guys, until next time. <laughs>